Welcome everyone. My name is Nicole and today we have a shorter pick me up class and we're going to begin standing. Um, so go ahead and join me standing. We are visiting Buenos Aires National Wildlife Monument. It's a, it's a super gorgeous place, and I found myself a little a little spot here, and all tucked in. And so this is where we're gonna practice. I hope you enjoy the views. When you're ready, root down strongly through your feet. Lift your toes, and imagine your weight going more evenly through all four corners of your feet, and then lifting up through the knees and wiggling, getting a little bit taller through the spine. Roll your shoulders onto your back, palms face forward. Take a deep breath through the nose. And out through the nose. And breathing in. And out. In your hands to prayer and if you'd like to set an intention for the class maybe just a word tidbit of inspiration whatever you'd like to see more of in your life and you're gonna drop the hands and then reach them up and over <laughs> in the branches and then draw them down up and over and draw them down one more time up and over and through heart center now bend the knees come all the way over inhale halfway look up use blocks here if you'd like exhale fold Inhale all the way to the top. And hands through prayer, knees bend, fold over once more. Inhale, halfway look up. And exhale, fold. And inhale all the way to the top. Last round, exhale, fold all the way over. Knees can be as bent as they need to be. Inhale, halfway look up. And exhale, fold. Now walk ourselves out into a plank pose and shift side to side. Make sure you have a little poof in the back of your heart so you're not collapsing through your shoulders. And breathe here. And elbows in, lower all the way down. <laughs> and then from here, pick one leg up, reach it back, we got one more length. And the other one, reach it back, we got a little bit more length. And then we're gonna locust. So palms face up by your side, roll your shoulders up onto your back, lift, lift your feet, breathe. Keep breathing. <laughs> and release, rest your hands for a second here. Breathe in deeply. Now. Now clasp the hands behind the low back or stay with the other variation we just did and lift. Pull those hands behind you. Lift those toes. And then hands under shoulders, press into plank, and then down dog. So knees bent, hips high. And then 
we are going to raise our left leg to the sky and then draw it into the navel and extend. Draw it in to your left knee and extend high. And then draw across to your other elbow and extend high. And step through for high lunge. Inhale, come on up. Lift those hands high. And then drop your back heel to come into warrior one feet. Clasp the hands behind the low back. Shift your weight forward and either come over with the arms or reach out with downward dog arms. Whatever your flavor, maybe do both. Try to keep those legs squeezing together and active. So even if you do have the downward dog arms and you're touching the earth, I feel like you could lift them off at any time and then inhale to warrior one. And then exhale over your front foot and plank. Chaturanga, elbows in, shoulders lifted. Upward dog, knees lift, collarbones bright. <laughs> and exhale, downward dog. Take a few breaths here. And then now we're going to lift our right leg high, draw the knee into the navel, extend it high once more. Knee to right elbow, <laughs> extend it high. Knee to left elbow, extend it high. And right leg through, inhale, squeeze, high lunge. Sending out that back heel, arms extending straight up, and then drop that back heel, clasp the hands behind the low back, and then shift forward, and either come up and over with the arms, or out and off to the side. And breathe. And then, wherever you are, come back. Come up. Over your front leg. To plank. Chaturanga, elbows in. Upward dog. And downward dog. And then we're going to shift forward into plank. Down at your right hand and turn it out a little bit to the right. So. <laughs> Just turn it out a little bit. <laughs> and then roll your way over in this side plank. You can have your feet here, you can have it in front, you can have, you can work a lot of different ways. So, oh yeah, here we go. Knee down. Okay, so here's the first one, right? Lift up, bring it over, however you want to do it. Or the kickstand in front, and always focusing on pulling up. Or here or tree and then come through center restabilize turn that left hand out just a little bit a little rotate it open some your shoulder and right hand high 
where we do the here or with the right foot out and kickstand. And back to plank. Knees as wide as the mat, toes touch. Press back into child's pose and rest your forehead to the earth or on a block. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and push back to seated. Let your hips fall the one way. Reach up with your right fingertips up and over for a nice side stretch. And come through center. Shift them off the other way. And then side stretch the other way. And breathing. Back to center. Draw the legs now out in front of you. You can have the knees bent as much as you need. Let's start with lots of contact here. Grab your feet and then coming forward with the legs straight as long as you can maintain this contact to help support your low back. And breathing. And we got as much length as you can get, then you can go ahead and fold over. And then come on up. And come down onto our backs. Take a moment to get comfy. Do a little bridge. Fingertips about where the heels are. Roll your shoulders under you. Lift the hips, maybe clasp the hands. Now continue to roll the shoulders under or grip the outside edges of the mat. And then lift those toes. Press down through all four corners of your feet evenly and then press high. Back of the head firmly rooted, chin lifting, and breathing. Pressing on so strong with my feet, and and like I'm gonna kick myself in the bum, but I'm not lifting my feet off the earth. And release. Come on out. Take a breath in. Now. Hug the knees in. Grab for the outside edges. A little happy baby here. Just focus on pressing your whole back head, releasing into the earth. Move around if that feels nice to you. Hugging everything into a little ball. Squeeze your muscles tight and hold your breath. And when you cannot hold it any longer, release, let go, fall out into Shavasana. Final resting pose. The feet roll out, palms turn up. And you just take this time now to integrate your practice, to completely let go. Stay where you're at and I'll guide 
guide you out in just a moment. I know it's a short practice, but just take a moment. within me seats and recognizes the light within you. Until next time.